If you didn't know it, this could be a major construction project in downtown Seattle, but it's not. Instead, we're in rural Kittitas County on the drier side of the state, and that thin meandering object below is an irrigation canal. You are looking at a climate change adaptation strategy. In effect, right now, we are preparing for a future without snowpack. Urban Eberhardt manages the Kittitas Reclamation District. All in, it incorporates over 300 miles of canals and what are called laterals going to individual farms. His own experience dates back to the days as a farm kid in part of the county called Badger Pocket. Starting when I was very young, irrigating pear trees, apple trees, alfalfa, that was my job uh, with uh, my other family members uh, growing up was, uh, was irrigating. The district was established in 1911, but has roots dating back to the 1870s. Kittitas County, like the rest of the basin along the Yakima River, is in the rain shadow of the Cascades. That means it's dry country. Yet from the apples on your table to the hops in your beer to the wine in your glass, irrigation made this area bloom with some of the most valuable crops in the country, even the world. This uh, geomembrane liner is rolled out into the canal and it is then sealed together uh, at each connection point and this is what keeps the water from leaking out of the canal. The concrete is in place to protect the geomembrane. In other words, miles of canals like this are being lined with plastic to stop as much as a third of the water from leaking and seeping into the soil. Back in the old days with reliable snowpack, nobody worried about that. They do now. If you didn't do this, what's the risk? If we were not doing this uh, here and in other parts of the Yakima Basin, we wouldn't have enough water. We would not be able to make the deliveries. This is critical to do this. Our goal is to save 100,000 acre feet of water annually. You'll hear that term a lot in this part of the state, acre feet. What does that mean? It means enough water to cover one acre a foot deep. In the words of people who aim to educate us non-farmers, that's 326,000 gallons or enough water to flood a football field a foot deep. Well, this is the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan. So this is a comprehensive plan for the basin. It's ecosystem restoration. So we're looking at fish passage, habitat restoration, but we're also looking at water supply. Wendy Christensen is a civil engineer with the Bureau of Reclamation, a federal agency whose job it is to manage water in the West. Cleellum, Cachis, and Ketchless. She's hauled these maps and visual aids around a public meeting after public meeting in multiple counties. So for the Yakima Project, uh, we rely heavily on snowpack and we usually call it our sixth reservoir. The Bureau of Reclamation claims about four and a half billion dollars worth of agricultural products come from the Yakima Basin. And that doesn't even include water needed for fish and for municipal water supplies. Three fourths of the water is gathered and stored in three large lakes, one of which you see driving along I-90, Lake Ketchelis. Then there's Lake Kitchis and east of that, Cleellum Lake. Part of the plan is to store more water in Cleellum by raising its level three feet and try and pump out more water from deep in Lake Cachis that's currently not reachable, but only in a drought emergency. Over in the Natchez River system, there are options to raise Bumping Lake to store as much as three times the water it can handle now. But the plans are not without opposition. We've been trying to right size additional storage and storage as you may know, is um, can be very controversial. I mean, we have folks at Bumping that have cabins up there that are concerned about losing their recreational area. Um, at Cachis, we have folks that are concerned about us um, drawing down that reservoir another 200,000 acre feet and what that might mean to their uh, recreation around the reservoirs. But what about creating a new lake, a reservoir, where none currently exists? This is Weimer. The only sign it's here across the Yakima River denoting a siding on the old Northern Pacific Railroad. As envisioned, once dammed, this area could hold another 162,000 acre feet of water. We've been considering Weimar since the 1980s. Really? Yeah. Bumping, we have feasibility analysis that went back to the 1940s. Wendy Christensen says there have been 11 drought seasons since federal management of water was established here almost a century ago. She cites six in just the last 30 years. But when you ask just about anybody who's involved in snowpack and irrigation, 
one year stands out as the start of it all, a year that Urban Eberhardt remembers back on the farm. What have you seen that has raised the alarm about snowpack? So in the 1977 drought was the first time that everybody really noticed something was going on, even though we saw an indication in 1973. We have seen the, the changing weather patterns become more frequent and for a longer duration. Across multiple agencies and entities, federal, state, local, tribal and private, the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan is expected to cost between three and five billion dollars to implement. And the work has already started. In Kittitas and Yakima counties, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.